This is something rather quick, but it's very interesting. And I'm very happy to have the space uh, to introduce the winner of uh, LACNIC 34 of, uh, the, of the IPv6 challenge. Let me, I'm going to be very brief and explain what the challenge is. Well, what is IPv6 challenge? It's an initiative created by the technical community in the region that uh, originated from the uh, uh, task force for the deployment to promote the implementation, uh, the development of uh, uh, the internet in the region. And we, as the R&D community at LACNIC, we joined this initiative. And that is why we have created the IPv6 challenge. Now we are organizing the eighth challenge. That is what we are going to uh, talk about now. And we, our idea is to acknowledge the uh, work uh, for the deployment of IPv6 during the timeline of the challenge. Who can participate? Well, in general trends, I won't read uh, the entire uh, slide, but any organization under the uh, area of coverage of LACNIC in any of the countries where we provide services. So uh, organizations, ISPs, university networks, governments, it may be any institution, it may be a shopping mall or, or a park or whatever, any institution within our area, not necessarily do they have to be members of the internet. It's not a sine qua non condition. How can you participate? It's very simple. We open a link to register a week before the challenge and the people fill in the forms, the appropriate forms. And during the period, we as a committee, we request two deliveries, uh, two, the, delivering two papers. Basically, it is to have some benchmark, some comparison between the first uh, delivery when the deployment is started and the second to know to what extent uh, progress was made. These are the members of the committee. They are well known to most of you. Adel Fernandez from Mexico, Jorge Villa from Cuba, Carmen Denis from Mexico, who joined us this year, Nicolas Antemielo from Uruguay, and myself, Alejandro, Alejandro Acosta. I would like to give a big round of applause and an enormous thanks to the entire committee. Without them, this would have been impossible. A lot of efforts were invested in IPv6 challenge, in defining the times, in revising the papers, and at least Azel Fernandez works intensively a lot and placing all the documents and the repositories and each one of you Jorge Villa makes, gives us excellent input. Carmen Denis, Nicolas Antonielo, you receive strong support from all of them regarding the IPv6 challenge. So I'm really tremendously thankful to all of them. If you need further information on the challenge itself, these are the links and the presentation will be uploaded to the events agenda. So let us now call out the winners of the IPv6 challenge. Let's start with the second place. This corresponds to a company called Kio from Mexico. We have certain confidentiality regarding the papers. We have committed ourselves with them not to disclose more information uh, than what they have asked us to. They conducted a very interesting work with deployment of IPv6 in data centers. And this is the way of supporting the IPv6 content in the region. And the winner, the first place, is awarded to ISP Satling from Oaxaca, Mexico. And this has to do with the IPv6 deployment for a GPON platform. So the ISP is Satlink from Mexico. So having said this, let us now give a few minutes to the those who received the first 
prize. And we now invite you all to participate in the next IPv6 challenge, which will be in LACNIC 35. We'll be providing information in the social media, in the mailing list. So let me make the call for the next IPv6 challenge. You are all invited to participate. I now give the floor to Salvador Kutua, who was a consultant who supported the deployment of Satellite Mexico. Welcome, Jose Kutua. Good afternoon. Alejandro, good afternoon, everyone. We are delighted to contributing to make that link with this event. So I will show you a couple of slides. Can you see my screen, Alejandro? Yes, we can see your screen. Well, to tell the truth, we are delighted. And let me tell you about this. First of all, we'd like to thank God for providing the essence of LACNIC people and people such as Alejandra Costa, Carmen Denis, with whom we had a meeting and she clarified quite a number of things regarding the participation. Isabel Fernandez, the entire LACNIC team who really do an outstanding job in motivating people such as us, the ISPs, to deploy IPv6, and particularly the company Satchlink, which is the company for which we did the deployment, and the CEO, Engineer Rafael Nunez, who trusted us in our work and who also provided support so that we could carry out our job. We'd also like to thank the project team of Simeon and Jesus Garcia and Mr. Alejandra Caraballo, who was a project coordinator on the activities and documentation so that we could implement this project. So very special thanks to all of them. Now, basically what we did was to deploy from scratch an entire IPv6 platform on the Satlink operators network in Mexico. We did several things in Mexico. We had a virtual data center with that is early added servers for production. We did border uh, routing and we deployed IPv6 towards the users networks. This was an important deployment of a GPON access network, a Wi-Fi access network with native IPv6 support. So clients now have IPv6 and this project will start growing in terms of its deployment. We had some have deployed some hotspots and these will all have IPv6 support. So there were many, many things that we carried out. We achieved quite a number of things with the support of Satlink and there's a lot of satisfaction with this. Satlink is the company located in Tuxtepec in the state of Oaxaca. We started providing services with IPv6, GPON, and many cities and communities around the city of Tuxtepec. And this was really transparent. The users started from one moment to the other to start working with traffic on IPv6. We realized that many portals and social media already are in IPv6. So this was transparent for our clients. We started downloading movies, following YouTube, Netflix, uh, Facebook, Telegram. And over a very short period of time, because in June this year, Satlink, although they had plans to deploy IPv6, were at zero level. They hadn't even started working in the design and deployment. So that was when we were contacted and started to work on this project. And now, on October, barely three months later, we can say that this company has deployed IPv6 with a significant amount of traffic. The is really things are carried out at a very interesting and great speed. Now, there were a couple of obstacles, mostly technical obstacles and challenges that we had to overcome. For example, bandwidth control and how to incorporate and work with users on IPv4 plus IPv6 with the queuing scheme, also the issue of hotspots with IPv6 support. 
And then the timing was quite an issue that we had to deal with in these times of the pandemic. Like Alejandro was saying, this occurred over a very short period of time, but we managed to drive this forward, for example, acquiring the equipment over a very short period of time. It wasn't so easy with the pandemic, but we managed to go along. And I'm, about, I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished. And finally, I'd like to send you a message and thank all the people who competed with us in this event because they allowed us to show the best of us and to also recognize that all the participating companies did a great job. We're just one more participant. This challenge is a wonderful opportunity to participate so that operators and ISP providers in the region can advance in their deployment and carry out this transition because this project really is a strong motivation. It provides great opportunities for doing queries. So this assists in deploying IPv6 both theoretically and in practice. So once again, thank you very much, Alejandro, to you, to LACNIC, and all the team. I would like to dedicate this achievement to Mexico and to Chile because they allow us to be here working on this and to my country because I'm from Venezuela and I really wish to express my thanks to everyone and to LACNIC. So that would be all. Thank you so much.